Are you ready to get this party started? The Indo-American Arts Council celebrated 15 years of bringing Indian artists, poets, musicians, painters, and filmmakers to New York City for American audiences. And let me tell you, the who's who of Manhattan came out to pay respect. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? We're here with the woman of the hour, the executive director of the Indo-American Arts Council. Arun, first of all, congratulations. This is quite a feat. Thank you. I love being 15. And because we started film festival, dance festival, etc. Myriad others all over the country have popped up and there are so many more platforms. In fact, we've encouraged, collaborated with, worked with, partnered with so many other organizations to give these artists platforms. It's wonderful. She is a true sovereign asset and we are really grateful to her for really reinforcing and bringing out the richness of our culture. I want to thank Arun and my fellow IAAC members for making it possible to preserve our own voices in the maze, in the face of this mainstream mush. Well, I'm just greatly happy to be here. You know, Arun Shivdasani and her team have tirelessly, with really built out of nothing, I see now 15 years old, and it really gives us an adda, you know, it really gives us a place uh, where we not only see South Asian support for young diasporic filmmakers and dancers and, and singers. Please welcome. Author Madhur Jaffrey. And I think Arun is to be congratulated because she's done it really all on her own with very little money and she's managed to just keep this going in spite of everything and I take my hat off to her. I just feel like this is one thing that Arun did even when she had two dollars. So I think she deserves a lot now. It's wonderful to see all of the Indian artists coming together. It's wonderful to be around people who want to support the Indian artists and 15 years is quite a while. Um, it's really important for me to be here and to support South Asian artists and culture as well as being a, a big uh, proponent of East Asian arts and culture as well. Arun has been around supporting uh, Indian actors and filmmakers and artists for so long and uh, she means so much to me. I'm so happy to be here tonight. All right, how about another round of applause for Paul Williams and Kenneth Asher, yes! Um, as, a, as a 15th anniversary present, I want to sing this song that had all the romantic beginnings of a bank commercial. Why did the two of you decide to take part tonight? Well, it began with a woman named Tracy Jackson. I took Paul to a dinner at Arun's house because he and I are writing a book together. And she said, would you come perform at our benefit? And Arun grabbed me by the neck and said, you know what you're going to do? And I said, I would love to do it. I whispered in my little Ganesha's ear tonight. I said, let's not screw up tonight. Let's go out and have a wonderful night and honor the 15th year of this fabulous organization. I can sing this song and I can sing it in the same room as Salman Rushdie. The essence of courage for me to stand here and sing, we've only just begun. Mr. Rushdie, you're actually being honored tonight. Yeah. How does it feel to be honored by an organization like the IAC that you've been a part of for quite some time? Yeah, well, I mean, truthfully, it doesn't feel so much like an honor to me as to all of us for getting this far. You know, I mean, I think we've all been pushing as hard as we can. And I think many other people who are here have been trying to, to help bring this organization in whatever way we can. We've only just begun to live in white lace and promises. A kiss for luck and we're on our way. And uh, when I applied for the job at Intel, they said, you're Indian and Japanese, you don't even have to interview. You'll see a lot of artists tonight, and there have been so many artists who have been helped over the last 15 years. Yeah, it's been a very important organization for me because they've shown my films all along and they've been very supportive of this American girl who wanted to make films in India. So finding that community is so essential, especially in the world of the arts, to be able to thrive. So I think that's vital in what it does. We're here with Sanjay Guleria of Exclusively.in and his lovely wife, Mohini, who's wearing actually Manisha Arora. Well, I'm showing my collection Indian by Manisha Arora, which is uh, uh, it's the first time I'm showing it in, India, in New York. And uh, with Exclusively.in, we're launching our website tomorrow, plus the charity event, so it's kind of three occasions put together.
What an incredible night of celebration it has been for the Indo-American Arts Council. They turned 15 and what a party you've had. We're here with Arun Shivdasani again. Arun, how was the evening from your perspective? Magical, absolutely. I've lost my voice. <laughs> it was so beautiful. Everyone was happy, eating, drinking, chatting, celebrating. It was one big celebration with the fashion show, with the music, with the honorees. I don't think we could have wanted a better evening. Well, congratulations. Here's to 15 more years of magical moments for the Indo-American Arts Council. For AVS, I'm Jitin Hingarani.